Okay, as always, check out the annotation for the full playlist. We're working with Sed in the series. Um, I have no clue what tutorial this is. I think we're around 15 or something. Um, again, check out the playlist. Uh, and last week we looked at n counting the lines in a file, uh, getting the total number of lines and actually displaying a number for each line. Well, this week we're going to look at numbering those lines so you see each line with a number. So last week we did something like this. Text is our text file and the equal sign is saying hey display a number for each line. But when we do that we get line 1 it's saying yeah line 1 and then what line 1 is. Line 2 this is line 2. Line 3 line 3 was blank so forth and so on. So but we want what we want is to have one and then the line two and then the line. We don't want them on two different lines like this. And the only way I could find to do this is by piping into a new set. So we are starting a new process. I would have liked to have figured out a way if it's possible to do it all in one command without starting up a new set command, but this gets the job done. So here what we're going to do is we're going to say inside our single quotes here capital N semicolon s forward slash backslash n forward slash space forward slash and what we're doing here is um, we're saying okay for the lines that are coming in n means append so we're going to take this and append this to it and then here we're saying oh where there's a new line put a space so that it's uh, looking nice so we're going to hit enter here and there we go we have each line displayed and numbered now let's say for some reason you didn't want to number the lines that are blank. So example line 3 here is blank. What we can do is we can come back here and in our first command say forward slash dot forward slash. And what that's saying is um, that's a regular expression saying only find lines that have more than one character. So I've hit enter here things don't display right because now we, the first two lines are okay then we didn't have a, li a thing for line 3 and then line 4 says here and then the line for 5 so what we have to do is do the same thing over here line forward slash uh, uh, sorry forward slash dot forward slash saying the same thing only work with lines that have more than one character so if we hit enter here you can see now we have um, one and then line one, two, line two. So each line is numbered, but we have skipped the empty lines if for some reason you want to do that. Let's go ahead and put a dash in here. So if we wanted to append with something other than a space, we can do that. And we can we can do multiple things in here. We can do a bunch of dashes. Um, I think I'm going to try something. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Backslash T. Okay, we'll put a tab. Thought it would. I think I did a tutorial on that recently. So So you don't have to just do a space. You can replace that new line between the number line and the line itself with whatever characters you want. So that is numbering lines, uh, all the lines in a text file, or numbering all lines except for the empty ones. So I thank you again for watching. Uh, come back next week on Monday for another set tutorial. Of course, if you're watching this in the future, that video is already out, and it will be in the playlist. Again, check out the annotation. My website, filmsbychris.com, that's Chris with the K, should be a link in the description. Be sure to check that out. You can search through my videos and playlists there, or you can just do it on my YouTube channel. And um, I have plenty of tutorials up and on said shell scripts in general, and a bunch of other languages. Check out my videos on Wednesdays and Fridays as well. I hope you subscribe, like, and comment. Have a great day.